So as a family, we went through Times Tales, all of my kids, and it's a very interesting program. It's very different from anything I've ever seen before. I didn't really know what to expect when I got it. I just had heard a lot of really good things about it and that a lot of people used it as a last ditch effort and it really worked for a lot of families. Hi friends, welcome back to Common the Chaos Homeschool. My name is Devin and today I'm going to be doing a flip through and review of Times Tales. So my boys are in third and fourth grade and I have two girls in fifth and sixth grade. And my boys were just entering the multiplication phase in their math. They're both working on the same math. And so we just moved into the multiplication phase of math. Now my boys are using teaching textbooks and I have done a review of teaching textbooks, the pros and cons of it, and I'll just insert that here above if you're interested in seeing that. But once you hit multiplication in teaching textbooks, I felt like it went really fast. They taught the ones, they taught the zeros, they taught the twos, they taught the fives, they taught the tens, they taught the elevens, and they just threw in a lesson or two on six, eights, all those harder ones, and we got stuck really, really fast. Now that wasn't a surprise for me. I kind of expected that to happen. So I had already purchased Times Tales so that we could start on that as soon as we hit multiplication. So as a family, we went through Times Tales and it's a very interesting program. It's very different from anything I've ever seen before. I didn't really know what to expect when I got it. I just had heard a lot of really good things about it but I really didn't understand how it worked. And so now that I've gone through it, I wanna share with you what you can expect from it and how it worked for us. So I got the deluxe version, which comes with three things. It comes with the main book here. This is the workbook. It comes with the DVDs. So these are going to have stories on them in a story format. So DVDs to look at. And it came with this little book that you can flip through that has all the stories in it. Now with Times Tales, your child will not learn their zeros, their ones, their fives, their tens, and their twos. So they need to know those already. They need to have strategies. So strategies like doubling and things like that. So it does not cover those. Those are pretty easy to pick up on your own. It also doesn't cover 11s and 12s in this version anyways, but it does teach all the fours. It has the sixes. It has the sevens, eights, and nines. So any of those combinations, it will teach your child. At the very beginning of the program, you meet the characters. So here are the characters in the stories. And you can see that each character looks like a number. So the stories are going to combine these characters and you're going to memorize the answer of what happens when these characters get together. So for example, the first story is this story here. The sixth grade class played musical chairs for 24 hours. So that's the first story that you and your students memorize. So you will get a visual of the sixth grade class and the sixth grade classes are always sixes and they have a chair in the middle, so that's four, and they played musical chairs for 24 hours. So six times four is 24. The next one, Mrs. Week went, let me see, Mrs. Week went butterfly hunting. She caught 20 in her net and one landed on her head. All right, so you will remember that Mrs. Week is a seven. She went butterfly hunting. So butterflies are threes. So Mrs. Week and butterflies. So you will get 21 because 20 were in her net and one was on her head. Mrs. Snowman stood on a chair to reach her three buttons and two mittens. So Mrs. Snowman is an eight. She's standing on a chair and that's four. And she got three buttons and two mittens, 32. All right, so I hope that gives you an idea of how these stories help your student know their multiplication tables. So on this DVD, it will take your student through the stories and basically there are two parts. They teach the first, there's maybe half of them first and they need to get those solid before they move into part two. 
Now, the DVD has the stories and it's more animated. I wouldn't say the graphics are amazing, but it's fun to watch. I would usually watch them once a week and just do the next few stories that we're going to cover that week. And it also has some review games and things like that. So let's take a look at the workbook that comes with this program. So here is part one. Here is meeting all the characters. So we get to know the characters. Okay, so we're remembering the characters, we're writing down the characters and what they are. And then each day you have something like this. So you have the story. You have some questions. So the questions are things like, 24 hours is an entire day. Explain how you would feel after playing musical chairs for 24 hours. Why do you think the sixth grade class decided to play musical chairs for that many hours? So it's just a way to cement the story into your students' heads. And then on the back of that day, they have the story and it's kind of mixed up here and they're supposed to write the sentence in the correct order, fill in the blanks, and then there's usually a picture. Oh, it doesn't have a picture down here, but there's usually a picture to circle. So basically your child is just memorizing that. The sixth grade class played musical chairs for 24 hours. Six, four, 24. They're combining those numbers and cementing that in their heads using a visual image. Now, once we have completed part one, they have reviews. So they have like a crossword puzzle to remember your stories. They ask questions so you see if you know. How many? Uh, what was Mrs. Snowman getting when she climbed on the chair? She was getting her three buttons and two mittens. There's flashcard practice, starting from the stories and showing the numbers as characters and slowly progressing to actually just the numbers. So that's part one and then part two. At the end of part two, you get similar things. So we have a crossword puzzle at the end of part two. We have a review quiz of the stories at the end of part two. We have quizzes with the characters looking like the characters. And moving into just the numbers, the multiplication table. And then you have flashcards. And then if you want, you can even go a bit further and start doing division. So they have some sheets for division. Now, as far as how my boys picked up the times table. So we were in, I think it was November when we stopped working on teaching textbooks because they had just gotten into the multiplication that they did not know. So we stopped teaching textbooks and we worked on times tales three to four times a week. I would say we did stories, we did review three to four times a week. And we spent over three months. I mean, Christmas break was in there, so we took three weeks off. So I would say it probably took about two months to get those multiplication facts. And then we went back to teaching textbooks. Now, now that we are back in teaching textbooks, I will tell you, it totally worked. My sons knew the answers as long as we could remember the story. And that hasn't been a problem. So there was no struggle to get three times something or four times something or six or sevens or eights or nines, no struggle. All we have to do is like, oh, remember, what is that? Nine is a tree house and what happened with the tree house and the chair? Oh yeah, they remember and they know. So I will say that definitely I'm so glad I picked up Times Tales. It's a great way to give your child the confidence they need when they're going into multiplication. My boys did not have to struggle with multiplication like many children do and I am so grateful for that. So they're able to keep moving on in their math concepts after taking that short break to make sure that we have the multiplications down pat. Now, are they super fast at the multiplications yet? No, but they have the strategy and they don't have to get out the multiplication chart in order to move forward in their math. They can figure it out and I'm sure over time these things are going to come faster and faster. So. Times Tales is definitely a very unconventional way for students to learn their multiplication. However, I think it is a great strategy and it worked well with my kids and I enjoyed the process and multiplication has not become a frustration. It has just seamlessly, smoothly moving from not knowing to knowing and being able to move forward in their math work. So. I do recommend Times Tales if you are struggling with your student or you know your child is going to be learning 
multiplication soon, I do recommend picking up Times Tales. It's so thanks for watching today. If you want to see more flip throughs and reviews, I have more coming up. My kids are ages 9 to 13 and I'm going to be going through and reviewing a lot of the curriculum we did this year as well as doing flip throughs of some of the new curriculum that we're getting ready to do for the next year. So if you like content like that, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that YouTube lets you know when new videos are up. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye everyone.